I mean, they give you this little thing called adhesion promoter. It's a crap, so you're gonna wanna throw it away. Right there is where it's gonna turn it off, eh? So I'm gonna open up the door and we're gonna see how these lights turned out. What is up, you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Now, in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys a modification that I did a couple years ago on my other Mustang. And some of you may be able to recall that. It's these door projector lights right here. Door projector courtesy lights. Oh, got them upside down for you guys. Door projector courtesy lights. These things turned out awesome on my last car. A friend of mine gifted them to me for a, a French Christmas that we do every year. And it just so happens that since I bought another Mustang, he gifted them to me again. So, when you get this box in the mail, this is obviously what it's gonna look like. You pull these open here. Now they don't come with batteries, so you're gonna have to put batteries in them. This is what you got, the magnets are on them right there. This is what, there's two magnets here, and this is what makes the light turn on and off. And you have to get it in the correct spot on there. You can see right here, there's a little sensor. So the magnet has to be over that sensor when you place it on the car and it'll shut the light off when the door closes. Now they do give you these little 3M tape, but this stuff's crap. You don't want to use this. It doesn't stick with the crap, so you're going to want to throw it away. And what you're going to want to do is go to O'Reilly's or Walmart and buy you some of this 3M right here. This is real 3M and this stuff works really, really well. I've had the same issue on the last um, pair of lights that I put on the other Mustang. You want this stuff. The stuff they send with it is junk. So, next thing you're gonna to wanna to do here is you're just gonna to wanna to clean the area that you gotta put your uh, magnet on the car and you're gonna put the light on the door panel here. So what you gotta do is you gotta take your light and you're gonna figure out where to put it at on the door in order for it to swing over and hit where the magnet sticks on the, uh, the little rocker here. And what you gotta do also is make sure that your magnet goes on where it's flat. It can't be up here on the curve because magnets aren't flexible. So, probably about right here, I think is where I did it on the last car. Pretty much in line with this end of the plastic. I think it's gonna work out really well. So I'm gonna clean this off and get my magnet mounted. And then I'll be able to swing the door over and figure out where this is gonna go. All right guys, so the magnet actually has to sit up here on this plastic piece, because obviously when the door shuts, the door panel's all the way in here flush with this. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take me some soapy water right here and just clean off that plastic piece there. Making sure you got a nice good size area. Get it all nice and clean. Dry it off with a clean rag. And then we're gonna take our magnet. All right, then we're gonna take our magnet, take our 3M. And I already cleaned the magnet. You're gonna to wanna to make sure your magnet's really clean. We're gonna put 3M on the magnet. So once you get your 3M on there, and get it peeled off of here. Now we're just gonna go ahead and stick it on the car, which I think we should be okay to just put it right here. I'm not gonna put it right on the edge, I'm gonna put it just inside of it a little bit. Now we gotta get in the car and swing the door shut and figure out where to mount the sensor at. Okay, so there's our magnet. I'm gonna swing the door shut. See the sensor on there? It's got to stay in line with it so that looks like a pretty good spot right there i got it turned on so I'm, i don't know if you guys can see it or not if i can get my hand out of the way yeah you can tell it's turned on so when the door shuts huh, if, if it'll shut all the way right there right there is where it's going to turn it off at you guys see that so it's on there if i slide it over there it's shut off, so that's where we're gonna mount it at. All right, so now that I got you guys switched over to the head mount, I can install this way easier. So I'm gonna get it all cleaned up, just like everything else. And then I'll get this 3M on there, and we'll get it stuck to the door. Ah, peeling this red backing out of here is always a pain in the butt. But once you get it started, it, start, it goes easy. It's just getting it started. All right, now I'm gonna shut this door. <clears throat> Hopefully you guys can see what's going on. Oh crap. I think I put it in too far, as you can see, hopefully. <laughs> the magnet disappeared. So if I was to put this down here, it's not going to shut off. Dang it. All right, so I got to move the magnet a little bit. All right, so I got the magnet moved over to the edge now where it's supposed to be. 
can't believe I didn't remember that from the last Mustang, but I mean, it's been a couple years. I gotta reposition myself here. Let's turn the light on so we know that it shuts off once we're over it. It's gotta be close enough to it, apparently. Where's my sensor? There it is. Was it? All right, so right there is where I'm mounting this at. So let's open up the door. Yeah, you can tell the light turned back on. It's supposed to shut back off. What the f <clears throat> Okay, so uh, it's not shutting off. I don't know what the deal is. What the crap's going on here? It's got to be pretty close to it for it to even turn it on or off, you guys. Like, really close. Okay. So now that I got that one mounted, I can go over to the other side and get that one mounted on the driver's side. But it definitely has to be super close to it. Like, you can see how it's hanging down off of there. It's really gotta be super close. But that's how you do it, guys. All we gotta do now is I'm gonna finish up the other side. Uh, you guys have already seen the process, but we just gotta wait for it to get dark and I'll show you what these lights look like. One thing that I just noticed in the uh, package here that I forgot about last time is they give you this little thing called adhesion promoter and I ripped it open and smelled it and I'm pretty sure it's just isopropyl alcohol, which you do not wanna use on your plastic panels because it can melt them. So don't use that crap. Do what I did and use you some soapy water and then rinse it off with some uh, regular water or that water rag that I showed you guys I wiped it off with and then I dried it. But the other thing is, now you can see that this piece is installed and obviously it doesn't look super professional. It definitely, you can tell it's a, like a cheaper modification, but I'm telling you guys at nighttime, these things are absolutely sweet. Can't wait to show you guys what it looks like. And honestly, when you open up the door, it's so low that people aren't even really ever going to notice it. Especially when you got all this other stuff going on like I do. All this carbon fiber and spider paint. Go check that video out if you haven't seen it, guys. That's actually two different videos. But anyway, once it gets dark, I'll come back outside and I'll uh, pull the door open and show you guys what these things look like. They're super bright and I think you guys are going to be excited to install them on your vehicle as well. And there we go. Driver's side is installed. Now it's time for it to get dark so you guys can see the final product. All right, so before it gets dark, there's one other thing I got to do. My buddy also got me these little valve stem covers. They got Mustangs inside of them. I don't know if you guys can make it out or not, but they're super cool. I'm going to throw them on real quick, see how it looks. Check it out. That looks pretty cool. Yeah, it looks really cool. It's hard to tell on camera, but they got Mustangs in them. And it looks way better in person than it does on camera, but it definitely makes a huge difference compared to your regular little valve stem. That's awesome. All right, catch you guys when it gets dark. All right, guys, it's finally dark outside. So I'm gonna open up the door and we're gonna see how these lights turn out. Check that out. As soon as you open it, it turns on. Look how bright that is. Dang, looks so awesome. Get down a little lower. Look at that. That horse looks so sweet. Now we got Mustangs popping out when the car opens up. You see it turns off when you close the door? Yeah. Yeah, that looks freaking awesome. See it shuts off when we close the door? Open it back up, it turns on. That's really, really cool, you guys. And there's these little projector things. So if you pull it out, you can have just a regular spotlight. And if you flip them over, they make the horse face the other direction or whatever design you got, but it also blurs it out. I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but it blurs it out in person. So I like to have them flip back the other way. That way it's not all blurry. Man, I already knew that they looked really awesome because I had them on the other Mustang a couple years back, but I really recommend you guys do this. It's a cheap mod. Um, I would leave a link in the description below. I will if I can find it, but I'm not sure because like I said in the beginning, it's a gift to me. So I'm not exactly sure what website they're from, but if I find it, I'll leave it in the description. So that's gonna wrap it up for this video, guys. If you enjoyed today's content, smash that like button. Leave your thoughts and comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe on your way out. And just like that, we'll catch you guys in the next one.